lizard. Very good. The lizard is the longest. Um, all right. Now let's read this one here. Lion put things in order, put the animal in order from the largest to small. Very good. And then just this one again, you want to say scientists. Scientists. Perfect. Um, which of these animals do you like the most? An ant. You like the ant the most? Yeah. Ah, and why do you like little ants? Because it's little. Mm-hmm. All right, and then can you read about putting things in order? Putting things in order means to decay which comes first, next, and last. Very good. Oh, and then this word here is decide. decide. Very good. Um, any questions about this one? Yeah. What's your question? Why the mouth is long? I think it has a long tail. That's why. The tail, look, it's almost as big as its body. Can you go down? Yep, you're ready to go down now. Um, the next word we have is compare. Can you read here what compare means? Compare means you see how things are alike and different. Mm -hmm. um, so, and then this picture here, what do you see? Which animals do you see? Dragonfly. Mm -hmm. Tar Tarantula. Tarantula. Yay. Ladybug. Very good. Beetle. Beetle. Very good. Oh, that one's a millipede. Millipede. Very Beetle. good. Perfect. Scientists. Um, scientists compare things. Look at. Look at picture. How animals are like. How are they different? Mm hmm. So what do you think? Um. Oh, let's also look at these ones as well. So these Move. ones might actually might help. Move. Um, butterfly. Yes, we have a moth, a butterfly. Oh, and what's that one? Spider. Spider. Um, so which of these animals is similar? Um, um, a lady. A ladybug. Okay, what is a ladybug similar to? Which one is it the same as or almost the same as? The same picture? Um, maybe like the same features. For example, maybe it has a small head but a big body. Do you see another animal with a small head and a big body? Yep, the tarantula, tarantula has a small head and a bigger body. I think there's one other animal as well that looks similar to this one. Beetle. Yes, I think the beetle is the most similar. Yeah. All right, what about the tarantula? Um, which oh, one do you I think, think is body. similar? Wait, can you wait? Mm -hmm. Can you go up? Yeah, that, that picture. I'm going to remove the feet. <gasps> you want to remove the feet? And then I will check it. The body oh. is the same with ladybug. Yep, you're right. If we remove the feet, the body of the ladybug is very, very similar. You're right. What about if we don't remove the feet? Can you see which one is it similar to? Um, maybe one of these? A spider. Yes, I think it might be the spider. Very good. 
Um, what about, um, I think those ones are done. What about the, the butterfly? What is it similar to? Only moth. Yep, it's pretty similar to the moth. And what about the dragonfly? Are there any similar to the dragonfly? Butterfly and moth. Yep, they're a little bit similar. What's the same about those? A wing. The wings, very good. What about the millipede? Are there any similar to the millipede? Dragonfly. Yeah, and, and how is it remove, similar? I will remove the wing. <gasps> yep, if you remove the wings. Oh no. <laughs> You're I, right. It's the thing. Yep, then it will have the same very long body, right? Yeah. Okay, very good. Um, so that's how we can compare and contrast things. Um, all right, and then let's look at classify. Can you read here what the word classify means? Classify means to group things that are alike. Very good. Um, and then here. What about that last one there? Scientists classify, put the animals into groups that are alike. Very good. All right, any questions here? You ready for our next page? Yeah. So we're gonna go to part two. So part two or lesson number two is about the scientific method. So when we study to become a scientist, we always have to practice the scientific method, okay? Um, so the scientific method is a plan that they use um, to perform different experiments. Um, can you read here? Scientists ask questions about the things they see, plan, help them find answers to their questions. You can use it too. Very good. So observe, ask a observe. question. Make a plan, Make a follow, plan. follow the plan, record, try the it plan again. again, draw a conservation, communicate. Very good. Draw a conclusion. All right. Um, so observing and asking a question. So scientists normally observe things and then ask a question. So if you look at this animal here, what would you want to ask about this animal? Why, why do some animals plant into their target? Mm-hmm. Ah, okay, yeah, why do some bl animals blend into their surroundings? So um, it, sometimes it's hard to see. What animal is that in the picture, by the way? You forgot, I think maybe that one's a cheetah. Yeah. Um, so the cheetah looks very, very similar to the leaves, right? Like it can almost hide. Why is that? Oh, I know about it. Because what do you if if the cheetah is getting it getting outside, their food run away. <gasps> so so they hide. Yep, you're right. And then they if do. That, if the food is um stand in and the center, they run and they eat. 
Okay, very good. You're right. Do you know what cheetahs like to eat? I don't know. You're not sure? Do you know where cheetahs live? I don't know. You're not sure? <laughs> That's okay. I think they live in the forest or um, maybe like in Africa, something like that. All right, next one is make a plan. So scientists make a plan. How can we get the answer? So they question, their, their question was, why do some animals blend into their surrounding? So your answer was so that they cannot be seen, right? And they can hide and then get the animal they wanna eat. So, how can we find the answer to the question? What can we do to find out if that's true or false? In our plan, get a black consultation paper, get a red, white, and black dry bean, mix the beans together and put, put the beans on the paper. Ask for people to pick up as many beans as, as they can in 10 seconds. Record how many of each color bean they pick up. Okay. So, I'll watch. Very good. All how right. Could you... oh. What's that? How could you find the answer to the question? Make sure your plan says only one thing. Mm -hmm. So um, like for our cheetah one, we only wanna have one question only. If we have too many questions, maybe we can't find the answer. So just like here, they only have one question. Next one, we need to follow the plan. Um, so we have our plan and then we need to follow them. Do we follow them one, three, two, four? How do we follow them? One, two, three, four. Yes, we should follow them in order. Very good. Um, tell me about this picture here, Nick. What do you see? Boy and a girl. Yep, what are they doing? Me. Ah, the bean and the black paper. Yes, they're following the plan, right? Yeah. Very good. Um, what what material do they have on the table? What can you see on the table? Um, a mouth and a bean and a black paper and the white paper, and a pencil, and a chair. Very good. All right, and what is the little girl doing? Drawing, some, drawing something. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what I think she might be doing? She's probably filling out the chart. Yeah. What about the little I boy? What is the little boy doing? Um, they have a yellow bean and get into the black paper. Mm-hmm, very good. Yellow bean to the black paper. <laughs> All right, and then we have recording our results. Um, so then scientists will record the results. So how can we record them? We can use, what are these? Number. Yeah, they are charts with the different numbers. So whenever we do our science projects, we have to make sure that we take down notes and keep the information there, okay? Then a scientist will make plan number two. And they make plan number two to make sure that plan number one is correct, okay? Um, so this one here, what do you see? Bean, black paper, chunk. 
Mm -hmm. And what are the kids doing? Two girls rumbling. Very good. What are the two girls doing? They are, one girl is a chant, doing a chant, and a one girl is doing a bean. Mm -hmm. I would maybe say um, one girl is playing with the beans. Yeah. Okay, very good. What about the boy? What is the girl, the boy doing? Uh, hand the phone. Oh yeah, actually, you know what that is? It's a stopwatch. Oh, um, okay. So he is checking the time. Then the scientist will draw a conclusion and communicate. Um, so what does the boy say? People pick up fewer black beans and then red and white beans. It, it, it was hard to find the black mean on the black paper. We are right. Then animals blend in, into their surroundings. It makes it hard to find them. Yes, very good. All right, any questions here, Nick? Wait, I will tell you why can I find a black mean in the black paper? Okay, go ahead and tell me. If they are black and black, pick it up. You are right. Red, pick it up. Yellow and yellow, pick it up. White mm -hmm. and white, pick it up. Blue and blue, pick it up. You are very correct. They can't see them when they're the same color. Um, what hmm. animal, Nick, can you think of that does the same thing? It blends in and you cannot see it. Oh. Can you think of an animal? Wait, I, uh, can I, can I speak one thing? Mm -hmm. The computer outside is black and inside of the computer is still black. Oh, really? So I cannot see the outside of the computer. Ah, yeah, you're right. So even computers can blend into their surroundings. Yeah. What about you? Can you blend into your surroundings? Can you disappear and mommy and daddy can't find you? My one hand disappeared. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you're right. It's hiding behind the other hand. It's camouflage, very good. And oh, what about the cheetah? So the cheetah cannot find. Mm -hmm, yeah. It's hard to find the cheetah. What does the cheetah blend into? Does it blend into the trees or does it blend into the leaves? Oh. It blends into the Aha. Uh -huh. Want to see the picture again? We can check it out. A yellow, a yellow grass. Yeah, it's blending into some yellow grass. Or a yellow, or a stone. Oh, yes. What about, let's think, what about a monkey? Um, what can a monkey blend into? Tree. Yes, it can. What color is the monkey and what color is the tree? Tree. Tree stick. Tree, mm -hmm. you know, tree stick. Yep, trees are thick. You're right. Stick. Mm hmm. Tree stick. The monkey is brown and the tree stick 
it's brown too. So yep. it's we can see monkey. You're right. Very good. <laughs> Okay, good job, Nick. It looks like we are almost out of time for today. Um, do you have any questions for me? No question. Okay. Well, you did very, very good in class, and I will see you again tomorrow, okay? Okay. All right, you have a good night. Good night. Bye-bye.